So I have here a simple application generated with the Angular CLI. I have a second application, which is basically my backend application, which runs as a Node.js server on a different kind of port. This little application consists basically of an app component and the app component has a component HTML file accordingly. There we have a simple button and when the user clicks that button, we invoke that fetch data from server function. And finally here, we visualize that person object, which it comes from our app component here. So in the click, I directly invoke here an HTTP service for fetching my person. And that person gets fetched from my backend application. Now, obviously in a real world application, this kind of logic here would probably reside in a different Angular service, but that's the topic of another video. Now, when I click this button, we get an exception. And the issue here is basically that that endpoint, which we are going to call here, basically our API call, doesn't exist. Now here in the development server, I basically get index.html delivered back to my client and that's because I'm getting here a JSON parsing error. So obviously what we could do is here basically add the fix URL of my backend server where the API runs. So in that case, what we get is a cross origin problem because obviously our application during development runs on the 4200 port while here we run on the 3000 port. That's also not quite ideal. Obviously we could configure quite easily this part of the base URL of our API, but that's not something that is quite ideal, especially when we are going to deploy our application in production. So let's leave it like this for now. Rather, what we would like to have is to proxy all calls to our API to that local host 3000 server. This can be achieved quite easily. So we basically go to the root of our application and we create a new proxy.config.json file. So here we can define a proxy definition which follows the configuration standard which Webex defines. So all calls to slash API should be treated by this configuration here. So we define a target, which will be our development server, our backend server, so basically localhost 3000. And then we say that we want to have it secure equals to false because we don't use an HTTPS server. And what is very useful also is to define a log level to, let's say, debug. Next, we need to go to our package JSON. And in our package JSON, we need to pass in the proxy config option and point it to our proxy.config.json file. So now we can stop our development server here and restart it again. And we should now see that it created a proxy here from API to localhost 3000. And now back to our application. If we click now that button, we see that the data comes successfully from the backend. 